Thank you for joining me tonight. I have some wonderful news to report to you about the space program. I've, developed, I've cre uh, conceived, created, developed, engineered, and worked with NASA on this uh, new mode of transportation which will solve all the problems about uh, the length of time it takes to, read, to reach uh, distant uh, uh, star systems where there may be habitable planets. Uh, uh, this is particularly important with the recent discoveries of extrasolar uh, planets, uh, that is, uh, planets uh, beyond our solar system uh, in other star systems. And the, what has been problematic uh, regarding that is the uh, time it, uh, it takes to reach uh, any habitable planet we might find. I have solved this problem. Uh, by the way, I will be, I've asked uh, the uh, news organizations, print and broadcast, to uh, embargo this story until I've had a chance to uh, make this presentation to you tonight. I will be holding a news conference uh, later on uh, this evening or uh, possibly tomorrow to answer all questions you might have. Now let's get right down to the uh, science of this. Uh, the pilot project uh, we will be getting underway soon will involve a, a quick uh, trip uh, to planet Mars to make sure everything works as it's supposed to, which I have no doubt that it will, but we will choose something um, uh, closer. Uh, the Mars is the fourth planet uh, from the Sun. We're the third. Now Mars is uh, many tens of thousands of miles from uh, the Earth, of course, and with conventional means of transportation, it would take many generations to reach that planet. Um, this will change. This will change overnight. Now, uh, what I uh, get away from that, please. Get away from that. Don't don't touch it. Okay. Um, I might have lost my train of thought. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, this involves uh, the use of a wagon train, which we will be sent, which we will be using. Uh, oh, but Dr. Farber, a wagon train? What you say? Uh, how would uh, how how would that work? Uh, and uh, you, surely you can't mean one of the Canesta go uh, wagons uh, with the fabric. Of course not. Of course not. And, and it's it. Uh, and I've heard this, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing how uh, people have a hard time uh, thinking um, outside, the, um, uh, outside the way they normally think. Uh, no, titanium is the way to go. We will cover these with titanium that will be sealed. Uh, for example, on the, uh, the grub wagon, and I like to retain some of the old lingo, uh, from the old days, uh, just to give it a homey feel, something we can relate to, the grub wagon will be sealed with titanium, uh, which will protect the food stuffs. Um, and while I'm at it, uh, I'll mention uh, a couple of the other wagons. So of course, there'll be uh, the, uh, I've set up two wagons for the astronauts, and they will be able to. And NASA is very grateful to me. They've expressed their gratitude for uh, allowing uh, them the latitude to decide which uh, astronauts would be in which wagon. I'm staying out of that. I believe in giving my people uh, the freedom of choice so they will make that decision. No strings attached from me whatsoever whether they do it one potato, two potato, however they want to make those choices. Now, on to uh, the other way. Well, you say, well, Dr. Farber, please. A wagon train is terrestrial. How how would you possibly uh, in Mars and the stars are up in the sky? How are you going to? How is that going to work? Well, of course we'll we're going to use horses, but not any horses. We're going to use the Pegasus horses. Uh, there's an old saying uh, that I'm very fond of that uh, you may not have heard. Um, if it's not um, broken, um, uh, uh, well, let me. Th I'll think of it. But anyway. Uh, we're going with the Pegasus horses. I estimate it would take 20 million to uh, achieve the, uh, the, the speeds necessary to reach the farther destinations. Uh, 20 million Pegasus. We will breed them, of course. We won't just round up horses. Uh, we will breed them, and that, that process will take uh, some time, uh, and, but not uh, nearly as long as um, uh, that's for the future part. But right now, we have some Pegasus we can work with to uh, stay away from that. Thank you, my lady. Um, uh, oh, God. Uh, oh, uh, 
the uh, the 20 million got me thinking because I want I don't want to leave any uh, stones uh, turned over. Uh, and you, I'm sure you remember the old um, the old product uh, and the commercial, the, the 20 million team borax. And I got to thinking: Is this a sign? Is this? Am I supposed to pay attention to this? Perhaps mules are a better way to go. Well, my staff and I researched this, and uh, mules are definitely flightless. Uh, that, so that would not work, and so we. But I, I just uh, we we have looked at other things, but the Pegasus are, is the way to go, and um, so uh, the um, what else is that I wanted to tell you? I think uh, that's it. Uh, the we're in the process of choosing uh, the astronauts now to uh, make the journey to Mars. And uh, I'm, I'm excited, I'm very excited, and I hope you will indulge me with this one bit of drama as I conclude uh, the, uh, this presentation. Join me now if you wish, or just sit back as I say, Wiggins!